Next question is from Adam Pullman Fit. How has incorporating and vocalizing your personal opinions and details about your lives positively or negatively affected the brand, business, and your personal lives? You guys remember Adam, right? Adam was, uh, I think it was Colorado where he came out to the live event. Tall, tall, good-looking fit guy. He has his own podcast. He's probably interviewed both of you and you don't even remember. Yeah, I do. I do recognize his name. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So totally he's, know. yes, <laughs> stupid guy. <laughs> he's sorry. full of shit over yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, so he's got he's got he's like, well, I gotta call, put us on blast well, I gotta call yeah. him out like that yeah. I mean, he's on video you can see his face you can I mean, see if that. I saw his face hey. I'd know no, hey, no, no, no I'm saying name, like, I'm on. saying your Just, your face is on camera so it's like so it's very obvious I, I mean I might be calling it out but he looks confused as shit as he says it like, hmm. hey <laughs> No, hey, I, I totally remember. Yeah, Justin doesn't remember the tall, handsome guys like you do. Adam. I know. That's the problem. Adam gets fixated and drawn yeah, hey, right into Justin, that. he was next to that attractive girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally yeah. Remember, yeah. remember now. Yeah, I remember now. You, you know what? I have some very strong opinions about this because I think times have changed a lot when it comes to this. In the past, I think it's safe to say it was not a smart idea for anybody in media to talk about their personal opinions on a lot of different things. In fact, uh, PR agencies used to tell celebrities all the time, do not talk about politics, do not talk about personal opinions, don't do any of that stuff, just stay general because it could screw you one way or the other. Mm -hmm. These days, with the cancel culture, it's a little bit different, okay? If you say the wrong thing or you do the wrong thing or you act in a way that whatever pisses off the mob, they could literally destroy your career. Now, my opinion, and I think you guys will agree with me, and if, even if this wasn't true, we'd do it anyway, because that's another part to this. But in my opinion, if you build your business saying what you're going to say and being who you're going to be, then you're somewhat protected of that in the future. Because if something happens and something comes out and they're like, oh, Sal said this about politics, we, people are gonna be like, he's been saying that for yeah. since day it's one. He's to be consistent. Yeah. And oh, you know, oh, you know, Adam was seen drinking a Diet Coke. I thought he was, yeah, he talks about that all the time. It's not a big deal. Like, right. I think if you're going to build a business in new media, then you need to be you need to be somewhat authentic and real because at some point someone's going to see something or whatever they're going to come after you maybe and if they do what are you going to do come after me i've been this way since day 1 i've been honest since day 1 so i think that somewhat protects you yeah i, th I think these days it's just different like uh, the the days of of portraying yourself in a certain light and and you know having the the lambo behind you and like whatever like staple of success looks like uh I think those days are, uh, you know, it doesn't do as well as it used to. I know it still does well for some of these guys out there that can kind of uh, portray themselves like that. But I just feel in terms of a long-term strategy to get as close to your authentic self as possible. Um, I mean, it 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 is what it is. Like you either like me or you don't at, at a certain point. And I think we've been getting slowly more comfortable with the fact of like, this is who I really am. Uh, and, and so like, I, I don't really know how to be anything else. And I think people appreciate that at the end of the day. Well, I think this is, I actually think this is necessary, right? Because at one point, if you try and, you know, only talk about the things that you think that everybody wants to hear about, and you're not being your authentic self, and you're holding back uh, your opinions and your values and your views, then you, and, and let's say you actually build a successful business, then you got to get up every day and you got to be this person that isn't completely you. And so even if it's doing well financially and it's growing, uh, you don't get to be yourself. I promise you that that that'll be short lived. And you know what? In the past, Adam, that that you there was a buffer between you and people who watched you on TV or whatever. There's no more buffer. Yeah. So yeah. you're screwed. If exactly. You're not. So then you got to get on your social media every day and pretend to yeah. be this character that you really are not. And you know, this was a conversation that uh, we all agreed very early on. It's like we're going to be, you know, raw and real and ourselves. And and here's the deal. It, what's neat and why I think this is important today, and you can and you definitely can still get away even with cancel culture, is there's a very good chance there's a million people out there at least in the internet that are just like you. Mm -hmm. that think like you, that are similar in age, similar in values and views. So don't be afraid of the, you know, of the other hundred million that are totally not like you. You don't care. Your goal is to find those million people that, and you don't even need a million, but I'm just throwing that out well, there. Let, that let them find you. Yeah. Or yeah, exactly. Be yourself and continue to be yourself. And then eventually they, your tribe 
of people that are wanting the information that you have or the value that you have to provide will will seek you out. And then what's great about that is you don't have to constantly be apologizing yeah. for the way you do things. I mean, I, I think that was one of the things like Sal was alluding to that really, I think, saved our ass. I mean, we came out so over the our personalities over the top yeah. on the beginning. <laughs> yeah, we throttled hard. Yeah, if anything, yeah. we've kind of backed off a little bit. Uh, and so we wanted to make sure, okay, our core audience is definitely, they've got just as dark of a sense of humor as we do. They're okay with profanity. They're all those things. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't have been paying attention to us. And yeah. so we don't have to deal with a lot of that bullshit. Yeah, and, and the, the truth is that it's not going to guarantee you success. It might hurt your business, but so what? Then you're not in that situation where you're either acting fake or vulnerable. That's the thing that you got to be careful with is you can make yourself very vulnerable. Um, you know, I was talking about Kevin Hart uh, earlier in this episode about his, his comedy thing. And he said how um, he had announced that he was going to go plant-based. Mm. And then a couple days later, he was eating a Big Mac. And some lady with a cell phone took a picture of him. Oh, I got you. And then he's like, oh, man, now I got to apologize to all these people or whatever. Mm. And so that's the, the world we live in. There's cameras everywhere, people all around you. It's not going to guarantee success. It might hurt you. Who knows? But at the end of the day, in my opinion, there's only one way to be successful through media, and that is to be authentic. That's the only way I can do it. I don't want to walk around looking over my shoulder. I don't. I am not the kind of person who's going to apologize to the mob that I don't even fucking know. I don't even know who you are. I'm going to apologize yeah. for something. So I'm just going to be who I am, and then you know, if someone gets mad, I know there's going to be you know, 10,000 other people and be like, oh, he's, he said that like 15 other times. Yeah. Like, you're an idiot for getting mad. That's just who he is. Right.